Good day, YouTube. Uh, guests and subscribers, I just wanted to uh, show you where we are so far um, on my new Outback capacitor uh, power bank. Um, I don't know if I'm going to call it a power wall yet, but I know for a fact it will have batteries integrated. At this point, um, I'm just trying to reduce the dependency on the batteries and reduce a little bit of the draw um, like I did with some of my 12 volt experiments back in the day. Um, I did have a capacitor with my 48 volt bank, nothing as robust as this, so follow along and see where we're at. <clears throat> and maybe you guys to integrate something similar to it make it uh, a little less expensive on your project so uh, <clears throat> right here I have one of my flex uh, wear enclosures that I purchased online um, it was actually a junked unit um, come to find out when I purchased it so I got half of my money back but the guy tried to get away with um, getting the unit to me so um, I have one, uh, like I said, a VFX uh, 3648 um, that's hooked up to the super capacitor. I actually have that wired underneath here using the FlexWare hardware. Basically, what I did is hooked up to each bus bar. And uh, because this unit is made to have two or four inverters, I have it hooked up to uh, the master inverter and the inverter itself hooked up to slave inverter and when both are on they're actually parallel to each other so I can get power from the cap to the inverter itself um, presently so far um, I've gotten everything hooked up except for the uh, solar I'm using a uh, salvaged panel out of my issues that I've had um, back in a couple months ago um, I don't know if the panel itself is shattered. I can see the crystalline. It's, I don't know if you can see it, but the crystalline in it, it's kind of flaky. I think that's a natural thing, but um, either way, I'm trying to use this panel to recharge. As you can see, when it got yanked and when it landed, it didn't break the frame, but it did probably shatter some crystals. But not only that, it ripped um, every bit of the connections off and this was a brand new panel when I um, put it on so um, <clears throat> either way uh, it was one of a few panels that um, I was able to salvage I replaced a lot of them with, with some insurance money but we know how that goes I'm still in the process of rebuilding I'll show you my project on that on a later video later date because still actually in the process of construction at the moment uh, Anyway, so this my setup is going to basically entail the solar panel. I'm not going to use a charge controller at the moment until I, my Outback or until I can get my MPPT um, to actually jump start that, that capacitor. As you know, with uh, batteries, they come with a, a 10, 11 volt uh, standard voltage, and then you charge them up to 14 and they fall around 12, but they're nominal at 12 volts, 12 caps. Um, even though it's nominal at 56 volts, it does not have a uh, voltage when it is shipped. So I have to jump start that with a solar um, panel first, get it up to around 12 volts, maybe um, 24 volts before my charge controller will kick in and then recognize it as a battery and continue to charge it. Um, one thing I want to show you while I'm out here is how I have it connected. Um, we all know that uh, on the positive side, that's where your fires can start. So you want to have that side fused. I have it with a heavy gauge, uh, double um, gauge wire. Uh, fused it on the positive post with a 300 amp Busman fuse. Um, it's actually a heavy duty fuse. It's hopefully not going to ever go above 300 amps. But either way, I have that connected over here to um, the Outbacks or Midnight Classics uh, um, switches, I think. I'm trying to remember what these things are called. It's been a while from YouTube, I apologize. But basically these are rated at 125 amps before they'll trip and turn themselves off. Like I said, if both are on, what you'll find is that they um, put the capacitor and the inverter in parallel to each other using the uh, bus bars that both of these connected to. I do have lightning arresters and every all kind of cool gadgets in here. I do not have a uh, shunt so I can read how many amps are going in and out. That is um, something that I'd like to do. I'm kind of in the beginning phases of the project even though this is weeks in. Um, but I will keep you posted so far. Um, 
I think today I should be able to have this inverter turned on. I'll be able to program it using the Mate 2 that it came with. And uh, I'll be able to run some power tools and some things like that. Uh, if